The proverb, all is fair in love and war, hasn't stood the test of time. As warfare has become more advanced and deadly, the nations of the world have come together to outlaw certain practices to spare innocent human life. After World War I, the League of Nations established the Geneva Protocols, which outlawed the use of asphyxiating, poisonous, or other gases in war. And yet, despite the international community's agreement, in the lead-up to World War II, Italy, Japan, and Spain used chemical weapons. After World War II, the Geneva Conventions established basic rights for wartime prisoners, including civilians and military personnel. It also established protections for civilians who were living in war-torn areas. And again, despite the protections for civilians and military personnel, nations have broken these agreements. In the video today, we're looking at the top 10 most egregious violations of international law when it comes to war. Number 10. Halabja Chemical Attack on March 16, 1988, Saddam Hussein's regime committed one of the most heinous acts in the modern era. The attack took place during the final stages of the Iran-Iraq War. The Kurds, an ethnic minority in the northern part of Iraq, had aligned themselves with Iran. Saddam Hussein's regime had a long-standing difficulty reigning in the Kurdish minority and decided to use the opportunity to not only end the war but strike fear into the hearts of the insurgents. A genocidal campaign was carried out named the Al Anfal Campaign, which translates to Spoils of War. While the campaign against the Kurds took place over multiple years, the chemical attack was brief but catastrophic. Survivors remember hearing the sounds of bombs dropping and then clouds of white, black, and eventually yellow smoke rising nearly 150 feet into the air. Some remember it as a sweet smell of apples, then something similar to eggs. Soon birds fell from the sky, and then another animal fell the human beings. All in all, the attack killed between 3,200 and 5,000 people and injured 7,000 to 10,000 more, most of them civilians. Number 9. The My Lai Massacre one of the most disgusting acts committed by members of the American military took place during the Vietnam War. With the Cold War in full effect, the United States deemed it necessary to combat the rise of communism in Southeast Asia. The war lasted nearly 20 years and saw 10% of Americans who served die in action. However, the war also saw as many as 2 million Vietnamese on both sides die as a result of the conflict. The My Lai Massacre it took place on March 16, 1988, but as a result of a cover-up, it took the American public over a year to learn what had transpired. The massacre was one of the major catalysts for the growth of the anti-war movement that swept the nation. More than 500 people were slaughtered, including women, children, and young girls who were raped and mutilated. The slaughter took place in a small village in the Quang Nagai province, which was believed to be a stronghold of the Viet Cong. In March of 1968, Charlie Company received word that the Viet Cong had taken a neighboring village and were sent on a search and destroy mission. The army commanders told the soldiers of Charlie Company that all found in the region should be considered Viet Cong. However, when they arrived at the village, it was comprised mostly of women, children, and elderly men. After searching the village, only a handful of guns were found, but none were fired at Charlie Company. Lieutenant William Calley boarded the soldiers to round up the villagers into groups. Despite some protests, Cali, along with his men, began firing on the villagers, killing mothers who shielded their children. Huts were set ablaze, and those who tried to run away were shot down. Of the 500 people killed, 182 of them were women, 17 were pregnant, and 173 children were killed, including 56 infants. Number 8. Second Italo-Ethiopian War Although the League of Nations was meant to bring about an era of collective security, the Italian invasion of Ethiopia quickly demonstrated that nations will always be self-interested. The Italian defeat to Ethiopia during the scramble for Africa was devastating and caused the downfall of its imperialist government. When Benito Mussolini came to power, he hoped to restore the prestige of Italy while also expanding Italy's empire in East Africa. The war began on October 3, 1935, when Italian forces crossed into present-day Ethiopia. Chemical weapons were not used until Ethiopia launched its Christmas offensive, which blunted an Italian offensive while also cutting communication and supply lines. In December of 1935, Italian planes dropped tear gas grenades and asphyxiating gas over a northeastern part of the country. Historians have found that the Italian forces dropped more than 4,000 bombs filled with sulfur mustard, resulting in roughly 15,000 casualties. Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia would go on to make a speech of the failures of the League of Nations and collect of security. He warns that if Ethiopia, a member of the League, could be invaded without a response, what would deter invasions of European countries? History. Well, that would prove him right. Number 7. Nanjing Massacre during the Second Sino-Japanese War, soldiers of the Imperial Japanese Army killed over 200,000 Chinese citizens and unarmed combatants. 
The Japanese invasion of Shanghai was met with strong resistance, leading to a war of attrition where both sides eventually engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. With the help of a naval bombardment, the Japanese took Shanghai and proceeded to march to the capital of China, Nanjing. The Chinese realized that the city would fall and decided that military personnel would fall back from the city instead of guarding it. They left the city's defenses to mostly untrained, fighting-aged men. The result was a catastrophe. The Japanese destroyed the city, raping and killing as they went. A journalist who traveled with the Japanese army recounted a competition between two soldiers as to who could kill a hundred people first. More than 20,000 women were raped, according to an international military tribunal, and most were killed after the act. Japanese soldiers would mutilate the bodies, leaving bayonets or bamboo in the victims' vaginas. There were even cases of Chinese soldiers being disemboweled, with the Japanese then roasting their hearts and their livers and eating them. There was eventually a sliver of justice, as five officers were convicted of war crimes and sentenced to death by hanging. However, this does very little to bring back all the lives that were lost. Number 6. Congo Wars While all of the other war crimes in this video deal with two nations, Congo is remarkable in that the heinous acts were committed against fellow citizens. A nation rich with natural resources, the Congo has struggled to unify after its independence. Several civil wars have been fought, with various groups vying for control of mineral-rich areas. Congolese soldiers have used rape as a form of warfare. They use it to terrorize women and their communities, and have led many to abandon their property. A 2011 study found that 1.8 million women have been raped in the Congo, and that 12 12% of women had been raped at least once in the country. The Congo is believed to be the worst place in the world to be a woman. The most depressing fact about the Congo is that the conflict seems to still be going on today, and there's no end in sight. Number 5. No Gunnery Massacre the Korean War is often forgotten, as is the violence and death that led to the establishment of North and South Korea. Nearly 5 million people died, half of whom were civilians, which accounts for 10% of Korea's pre-war population. In addition, nearly 40,000 American soldiers died and another 100,000 were wounded. On July 26, 1950, the highest levels of U.S. command in South Korea ordered that all Korean civilians traveling and moving around the country must be stopped. Fearful that North Korean guerrilla troops were disguising themselves as peasants and moving across battle lines. Despite the military's order, U.S. soldiers in central South Korea ordered hundreds of civilians from their villages to the south, fearing a North Korean invasion. As the civilians marched south, members of the U.S. 7th Cavalry Regiment dug in near No Gun Ri. When the civilians approached, U.S. cavalrymen were instructed to fire on everything kill them all. Over a three-day period, hundreds of South Korean civilians were killed. According to survivors, a nearby stream was running red with blood. Estimates range that anywhere from between 100 to 300 civilians were killed. Like the My Lai Massacre, the actions of U.S. soldiers were hidden for many years. It took five decades for the facts to emerge, which included testimony from survivors and numerous U.S. soldiers. Number 4. East Timor Genocide For nearly 500 years, East Timor was controlled by the Portuguese. However, in 1974, a coup in Portugal left the East Timorese with the opportunity for independence. In 1976, the Portuguese decided to leave East Timor, and just nine days after they left, the country was invaded and annexed by Indonesia. The Indonesian government was fearful of a leftist government taking power or the possibility for other regions of Indonesia to align themselves with the East Timorese. Indonesia would occupy East Timor for 24 years where they systematically murdered men, women, and children. Rape was also a common practice to terrorize the women of East Timor. More than 200,000 Timorese died from famine, disease, and fighting as a result of Indonesia's occupation. Number 3. Bosnian Genocide Probably one of the most well-known violations of international law occurred during the Bosnian Genocide. After the fall of the Soviet Union, nations in the Eastern Bloc began to declare their independence. In April 1992, the government of the Yugoslav Republic of Bosnia-Herzegovina declared its independence from Yugoslavia. A multi-ethnic state, the first elections in the country resulted in a coalition along ethnic lines. This did not sit well with the Bosnian Serb forces. With the support of the Yugoslav army, the Serbs perpetrated ethnic cleansing and atrocious crimes against Bosnian Muslims and Croatian civilians. The Serbs, who were Christian, killed more than 100,000 people, 80% of whom were Muslim. This has been described as the worst act of genocide since Nazi Germany. Number 2. Batang Kali Massacre 
After the Geneva Conventions and the establishment of basic human rights for non-combatants, British soldiers broke international law by murdering 24 unarmed civilians. With the Japanese defeat in World War II, the British returned to Malaya to reclaim their former colony. However, many liberation fighters who had mobilized during the Japanese occupation had not disbanded. The guerrilla outfit began targeting British commercial outfits and assassinating British landowners. As a result of increasing hostilities, the British declared a state of emergency, which began an undeclared 12-year war. In December 1948, 7th Platoon G Company and 2nd Scots Guard rounded up civilians near a rubber plantation. The men were separated from the women and children. There was only one male survivor, Chong Hong, who fainted as the automatic weapons killed his fellow countrymen. Number 1. Euthanasia, Nazi Germany one of the least reported facets of the Nazis' perverted ideology was their mass murder of fellow German citizens who were mentally and physically handicapped. We've decided to include this program of euthanasia because it was part and parcel of the Nazi sentiment during World War II. They were a race who wanted Aryan perfection and purity, and anything that was believed to be inconsistent with that had to be eradicated. The most troubling aspect of their program was the cooperation of doctors and midwives who were asked to report children who displayed signs of mental or physical disabilities. The the program led to the murder of more than 70,000 German citizens, who were mostly children, at the hands of their own government. So I'm not going to ask whether you enjoyed that video, but I sure hope you found it illuminating. Maybe you learned about some things you didn't know about before. If you did find it interesting, please do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We do videos like this every day of the week. Not videos quite like this, usually they're a little bit more uplifting, but if you want more of that kind of stuff, just hit subscribe and you'll find out about them. And as always, thank you for watching.